Thank you, councillors. Um, well, I'd like to move uh, this mayor a minute. Um, I was, um, upon being elected mayor, um, I, I was contacted about a lot of a lot of issues from a lot of people, as you'd expect. But the thing that's come up the most frequently and um, and, and the most passionately amongst people with me is is the rate restructure, and people have been urging me to do what I can um, to bring this issue back up into the light again. Um, the, the previous speaker was correct. Um, this has been going on a long time, and it was in 2016, I believe, or 2017, probably, that we actually changed um, the rating structure um, and, and and brought in a 30% base rate. Um, here, we're, we're suggesting a modest change. We're not suggesting uh, a return to a previous system. Uh, we're not talking about introducing a rural residential category. Uh, we're talking about a modest change of increasing the base rate from 30 to 50%. The effect of which would be to decrease um, the impact that land value has um, on the rates, that's quite correct. Um, it's, it's not correct that there would be no correlation between property value and rates, and it's not correct that um, people with lower values would, would be asked to pay more. There'll still be a correlation um, uh, the, with property value and rate uh, and total rates as there is now. Um, instead of um, the base rate making up 30%, the base rate would make up 50%. Uh, we believe, and we've, we've, um, we've communicated this many times, but not saying we, I mean, the Liberal councillors have said many times that we, we believe this is much fairer. Uh, it'll reduce the big, big swings and variations we get every time we've got have a revaluation across the LGA um, because uh, it will be less reliant on land value. Um, and, and look, the reality is that there are some services um, and, and, and most of most council services are used by everybody. And and this this in by bringing a 50% base rate, we're saying there needs to be some, some fairness about what people are paying. Um, yes, there can be a 50% element which is tied to land value, um, but there can also be a 50% element um, which is not, uh, which is just paid by everyone the same. Um, in terms of, you know, I think the speaker mentioned that we've been moving away from a system that treated everyone equally to a system that didn't. Again, we're not changing the system. We're just we're just tweaking the base rate from 30 to 50%. It doesn't change anything uh, in the current structure other than that. Uh, so I'd commend um, this for consideration of councillors. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Deputy Mayor. Um, I'm happy to endorse the Mayor's mayoral minute and I'll set my thesis forward as follows. We on Council have an obligation to adhere to the directives given to us by the Office of Local Government in what's called the Council Rating and Revenue Raising Manual. That document, which was written in 2007, sets forth a variety of principles that includes the benefit principle, in other words, that Council rates should be proportionate to uh, the, the, the benefit or the services that are provided to residents through their rates. And it should also be proportionate to the ability to pay. And that we are legally obliged to be mindful of both of those principles. Now that rating uh, manual also states that land value is at best only an approximation of a resident's ability to pay. And where a circumstance arises where there's a distortion of land value, that it is entirely appropriate to use the base rate lever to provide more equity in the system. And because of the value of general coming through and revaluing people's land in a variety of suburbs, and particularly those suburbs that lay adjacent to development, the average rate rise in an area like Oakville has been 57%. But that's only the average rate rise. Some families on fixed income and enjoying precisely the same access to services as other residents are now paying twice or three times as many rates as their neighbours in an adjacent suburb. And we don't think that that's fair. If I could employ an analogy, if a group of friends went to a restaurant and enjoyed a succulent Chinese meal, and that at the end of that meal, everybody who had eaten equally, some were paying $30 into the kitty, and some people were being asked to pay $60 or $90 into the kitty, when they had all eaten the same amount, there would generally be consternation because that would not be regarded as a fair circumstance. The people who have become the victims of land value increase or land value speculation are enjoying more or less the same access to services and their income is equivalent to the income of people in many other suburbs. 
by putting the base rate back up to 50%, which was the case between 2013 and 2017, more equity is introduced into the system and we keep faith with those residents who have been bitten hard by something that is not their fault. And we also keep faith with people when councillors also in this term hit them with uh, several other double whammies, such as a changing to the rating formula that abolishes the rural residential category and then imposed a special rate variation on top of that. Now, to answer the criticism that's bound to arise that this will mean that some other suburbs will have rate increases, what we're talking about when distributed across the remainder of the suburbs of the Hawkesbury is that those rate increases could be $10, $40, $50, or on that order, whereas those people that have suffered under rates that are double or triple that they, what they paid only four years ago will get some well-deserved relief. So I agree with the Mayor that this is a minimal change and that it's something that we really should consider. And I do invite my fellow colleagues to take the political element out of this and to see the objective and logical merit of the argument that I've just put forward. And I commend the Mayor's mayoral minute to you. Thank you.